Hi, today I thought I would do a kind of exploration of the knowing field. I kind of just came to me that this would just be a really nice thing to have a look at. So um, I've got my book that I've been working on for family constellation work and uh, just just going to put some some gesso down just to cover some of the things. So Bert Hellinger um, brought about uh, the family constellation work and it's where sort of you can kind of reveal things that are going on underneath the surface, particularly in families or personally. And I've just come across it recently through the Soul Pages method. Uh, and we use a creative process to explore um, these connections. And they often have a thing called, you know, people can be classed as representatives. So you can have people who stand in for certain aspects or people from the past. Uh, and, and in the where I've learned it is with Raka Fet Hadar um, in a course that I'm doing online at the moment. And we then translate all of this into a kind of collage, which sort of kind of uh, has, it takes on sort of a deeper meaning actually and has been quite revealing. So, uh, so, and I'm just using a book that I've deconstructed and so sometimes I've already got images in there underneath which is sometimes quite interesting. But today I'm just wanting to explore this idea of the knowing field which is it's kind of quite a shamanic term, if you like, or that's how I'm, you know, thinking of it, is that there's a field where we are all there and we all belong to this field, this energy field, if you like, even people who are from the past and even the future are actually there, um, you know, and sometimes we can't, we don't realise it or don't sense it. I think a lot of indigenous cultures kind of have a very strong feeling for this. It's probably more, you know, um, Western cultures who don't really have a look at this very clearly. So I'm realising I'm going to have to blow this dry. <laughs> so I'm just going to put my um, mic on. So, sorry about that. I wasn't kind of thinking about that. that would, sometimes I sort of prepare things earlier, so um, that doesn't sort of happen. So, I've got some crayons here too, and I'm just going to put some, some lines in as well. I have been really, really enjoying using StreamYard and just sort of streaming live, uh, and... I had been using Filmora, which is a, you know, um, a way to edit films and what have you, and and it's wonderful as well. But I am enjoying just having that freedom of, of just being able to be a bit more spontaneous. So, yeah, I hope you're enjoying um, the lives, and uh, they do. But the only thing is, is sometimes with editing, I can make them all a little bit quicker, whereas um, when you're doing a live that's not really sort of available so I know there was a roomy quote years ago came across this roomy quote I think it was when I was doing a Brene Brown course and it was something about 
and and there is a field and I will meet you there. Something like that. I'm sorry, I should have actually found that quote before I started because it was coming to my mind. This is pure intuition, by the way, uh, which is actually fine as well. And I know uh, with Transcendental Meditation, they talk about going um, into the field of possibilities in a way. And um the you know the field of pure intelligence if you like and you know on the surface that can be sort of you know first going into meditation that can be a little bit bumpy um but as the meditation goes on it goes deeper it's sort of more still and um and that's kind of a nice thing as well it's interesting. I've got this little Scottish background in the background, and it's it's like ancient mountains with a river on it. But at the same time, I'm happy to just cover it all. This isn't really the colour I'm thinking of, but um, and it is interesting. Sometimes taking a photograph or looking at something on film, and things can look so much different than you know what you thought they would be. My favourite colour is um, Payne's Grey. This is actually phyllo green though, but um, it's Payne's Grey. But. I think doing family constellations has been quite a deep process and, and probably quite personal as well. And I'm sure, you know, everybody has their own feelings about that, um, that it can be a very personal um, exploration, if you like. And I think it's, it's well placed uh, to, you know, explore this all with creativity it sort of a it kind of lends itself if you like I'm going to dry that again too.
so there we go a uh, little bit of a resting page a little bit of uh, reflecting on an all-knowing field and yeah thanks for letting me share bye